Hey everybody, Jason here of GhostbustersNews.com and we're back here again for another installment of the Ghostbusters Halloween Countdown. And today's video is both the longest and the most requested video we've ever done. For years you guys have been asking, you've been craving for a collection room tour and that's what we're going to give you here today on the Halloween Countdown. And before I turn the camera around to all the goodies and the knickknacks and all the items here, this is not like everything that we have. There are like crates and totes and stuff full of Ghostbuster flight suits and, and Kenner like toys from the 80s, like more of like the, the proton packs and the slime blowers and stuff like that. Um, so this is really just the stuff we put in behind here and uh, around here that we thought would, would look good and, and would definitely dress up some of our videos. So without any further ado, let's take a look at the Ghostbusters News recording room slash collection room. All right guys, so one of the biggest questions I get are what shelves do you use behind you? What cabinets do you use? And these are Detolf shelves, D-E-T-O-L-F, from Ikea. I got these back in the spring. I absolutely love them. They look fantastic. They show off the display. They show off the collection perfectly. Uh, now to the left of the display, got a few items here on the floor. We've got the Spirit Halloween Slimer Mask, which we recently reviewed, as well as also one of uh, two replica proton packs that I have. The pack itself was made by Colin from Multimedia Mayhem several years ago. Both packs I have were both made by him. Uh, looking up here, we've got a close to life-size Vigo the Carpathian. He was also one of the first video reviews we did here on the Ghostbusters News Channel right here on YouTube. I love it. One of my favorite things in the collection is that Vigo print. Um, now, if this doesn't bring memories childhood memories back to you. I don't know what will. It is, of course, the Kenner Ghostbusters Firehouse. We've got some of the uh, the squishy toys from the 2016 Ghostbusters reboot up top. We've got some plushies on the inside. That's a Ghostbuster air freshener to the left. Uh, I've got the Ecto-1 inside with the, the ghost on top of it there. Uh, love, 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 love the Kenner Firehouse display. Uh, that's one of the sl Slimer Sour candy treats. Uh, right there, we've got the real Ghostbusters uh, DVD box set. It has skyrocketed in price over the years. Uh, we've got a Slimer statue that was released several years back. The Mattel Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. Luckily, mine has not yellowed too badly like a lot of others have. Uh, I've got the Conan O'Brien uh, Funko Pop figure. We've also got the No Ghost sign there from the Diamond Select Toys line. Uh, right there, we also have a No Ghost patch that was used to advertise the 2016 reboot. The green light there is from the Ghostbusters 4D slot game, and that is an unofficial Ghostbusters figure from a blind bag I picked up uh, some years ago. Uh, I also want to make note of this little tiny Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. I've had this guy since my childhood. Uh, I think he was like a pin topper maybe, I, I really can't remember to be sure, but such a tiny little character, I love him. Uh, speaking of Stay Puft, this is also the, I think this was the first time Stay Puft Marshmallows were actually a thing. This is the box to the Stay Puft Marshmallow, like actual food that was released. They were carbonated marshmallows that were done, I don't know, maybe 10 years ago. Of course we got the Spirit Halloween uh, PK meter. We've got the Slimer and the Real Ghostbusters candle there from HorrorDecor.com. I've uh, got a Ghostbusters bank behind there. Speaking of Horror Decor, that is a Terror Dog pillow. Look how amazing. I love it. Looks so fierce there. Uh, going to the right here, keeping with the Spirit Halloween uh, idea, we've got the Spirit Halloween Ghost Trap, which we've also reviewed. Speaking of reviews, we have the, uh, the Slimer here, once again from Spirit Halloween. And behind here, we've got the Mattel uh, Neutrino Wand on display, along with the that massive Peter Venkman statue. Love the detail in that thing. Uh, looks beautiful. And to the right of here, we're going to dive a bit into some of the Lego stuff. Uh, that is the 2016 Ghostbusters Answer the Call uh, Ecto-1 there. We've got a bunch of characters. And yes, right in the front there, you may see a custom version, custom Lego figure of me in the dark suit. We're going to get to that. And once again, another one of my prized possessions, the Ghostbusters Lego Firehouse. Took me about 20 hours to build. Such a rewarding build here. And right there, we've got more Legos. The Ghostbusters 2 sign back there. Once again, from Diamond Select Toys series, we're currently building that firehouse right now. We're going to show you more of their figures here in a few. 
and on display we've got the uh, the Holtzman goggles that I made as well as also the Ecto goggles. Once again, these were from Spirit Halloween, released just this year. And once again, if you'd like to buy any items from Spirit Halloween, we've got a link right down below in the description. I'm gonna try not to sound like a salesman when it comes to this video. And there is a better shot of the custom Lego figure of myself. Uh, now this was made by Brickin' It Customs. I've got two different ones. I've got a khaki Ghostbuster 1 and a dark suited Ghostbuster 2 variant made. Uh, as well, I've also got some custom gear on myself there. Uh, as well, I also picked up this custom Vigo the Carpathian. Look how awesome he looks there. So cool. Now, looking inside our first cabinet here, we've got Ghostbusters Answer the Call figures. Uh, these were the, uh, the figures released by Mattel, mainly highlighted here. Uh, we've got the main four girls. In behind you there, we're going to see Rowan, the Safe Off Marshmallow Man, Mayhem, that Pull Tongue Slimer as well. Uh, as well as if you look at the front, we've got these little small uh, Ghostbuster figures, which I got from China. And I believe originally these were supposed to be keychains, but I got them without the actual chains attached. Uh, now this card here uh, got sent to me by Andrew Schaefer. Andrew wrote the actual legit book adaptation of Ghost from Our Past. Uh, and he was nice enough to include that little card there. Uh, the little hood ornament, the little kind of silver thing, is a custom I made. I, I molded it myself. As well, we also have the Diamond Select Toys Stay Puff Marshmallow Man bank in behind there, as well as the Monster High doll. And I reviewed her, and I love this doll. I know it's weird for me to talk so highly about Monster High, but I love the way that thing turned out. Uh, as well, in the very back there, you're going to notice some art. Uh, that was from the Ghostbusters loot crate that was back, released back in 2016, as well as that Ghost from Our Past little thing there uh, is signed by Andrew Schaefer, once again, the writer to the actual book that was released. Uh, going down here, we've got uh, pretty much three shelves of Funko, is what you're going to see here. Uh, first and foremost, we got the Dorbs here, of the main four guys, as well as also a marshmallow-covered Egon, and two Stay Puft Marshmallow Mans, including the variant. In behind there, we've got the vinyl idols of, uh, well, Peter, Ray, and Egon. I really wish they would have released a Winston to complete this set. Now, in behind those vinyl idols, we have got more Stay Puffed Marshmallows. These are different than the ones that we had on top of, you know, on top of the cabinet there. Uh, and I picked these up many years ago at HMV here in Canada. Now, on the next two shelves, we've got Funko Pops. This shelf dedicated to the original 1984 film. Uh, we also have a rare Egon Spangler still in the package in the back there. Um, his price, that pop vinyl skyrocketed in price ever since Harold Ramis' untimely passing. The next row down, we've got some Answer the Call Pops, including the rare Paul Fig Pop in behind Kevin there. And I also put some of these Stay Puft Marshmallow Mans uh, on display just because, well, just because. They, they look better down there. Uh, now taking a look at the next shelving unit, we have got the 12-inch Ghostbusters from, uh, from Mattel there. They were released once again several years ago there. In behind there, you're going to notice that we have the Stay Puft Vinyl Record, the, the, the one that smells like marshmallows, in behind the four guys. We've got Mattel's PKE meter on display. And for my money, the best looking Ecto-1 so far to hit the market, the Hot Wheels Ecto-1 there. Looks incredible, so much detail. I love this thing oh so much. Now, keeping with the 12-inch Mattel theme, taking a look down below here, we have got the Ghostbusters 2 12-inch figures. Uh, of course, Slime Blower Ray, Slime Blower Winston. In behind there, another vinyl record, the Ghostbusters 2 vinyl soundtrack on display. Um, now, oddly enough, I never really picked up the Hot Wheels Ecto-1A. I don't know why. It's just, it never came about. So we have more Ecto-1s here on the shelving unit. Um, once again, these make great display pieces here, as well as also I do have some of the Diamond Select Toy Mini Mates, the main four guys, we have Slimer there, uh, all on display being shown off. On top of that, we also do have some packs of Ghostbusters 2 trading cards with the chewing gum still intact. And if anybody went to a Hardee's back in 1989, you'll remember these guys. These are the Ghostbusters 2 sound makers from Hardee's. Now going down to the next shelf here, we have got the massive NECA Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. And an odd FYI is that this Stay Puffed figure is signed on his booty by Dan Aykroyd. I don't know why I met Dan and I handed it to him and for whatever reason he signed his butt. We also have a Slimer statue there as well as also the die cast metal Ghostbuster figures. Winston Ray, 
Peter Egon there and the two different versions of the Ecto-1 that they released. Now the bottom shelf here is kind of more of a, uh, like a Mod Podge, I guess, of almost anything. We've got the Ghostbuster Vinnie Mates in the front, Stay Puffed, Egon, and Ray. After that, we've also got the, uh, the the Ghostbuster Ninja Turtles, which I reviewed last, uh, when was it there, last Christmas. Love these guys. In behind Michelangelo, you also see the Extreme Ghostbuster Slimer. And in behind him, we also have uh, Lucy, the Kotobukaya statue. Uh, up here, we've also got a mini Slimer from a blind bag. We've got a Stay Puft pencil sharpener, Sam Hain from Extreme Ghostbusters. And those two Funko Pops are one-in-ones. Uh, they are custom made of my wife and I. Speaking of custom made, you know, wife and I figures, I guess. We also have these ones which are paper crafts of her and I. I, I love stuff like this. They look so cool. Such cool collectibles. I have no idea why I feel the need to own custom action figures of myself, but I do. Speaking of custom, we also have this custom WB Superstar Zack Ryder figure. He wore this custom Bro Buster gear to the ring one night on Monday Night Raw, and I had to have an action figure of it. Uh, also on the floor here, we've got the Loot Crate Mat. This was released back in the 2016 Ghostbusters themed Loot Crate. Love it. I really feel like it completes the room, we'll say. Uh, going on to the next shelving unit, We've got more Mattel Love. This is their six inch line. Up top here, it's pretty much all the figures based around the original Ghostbusters film. As well on the right hand side there, we do have the Rookie from the video game. Um, I, I I know this line gets a lot of slack because there's so many variants, but I, I really did enjoy it. Uh, also, we've got more of those little Chinese uh, keychains I ordered. Once again, just minus the actual chain part. And let's just give a quick once over here some of the figures. I do have the Diamond Select Toys Stay Puft Marshmallow Man Bank in behind there, so it's not all Mattel on this shelf, but uh, how can you have this many Ghostbusters without a Stay Puft Marshmallow Man on display? I also love that mini containment unit that's in the back there. Now, going to the next shelf, we go on to Ghostbusters 2. We've got that Toys R Us exclusive uh, dark gray uniform uh, four pack right in the front there. Uh, as well as the guys in their courtroom attire behind there. We've got that awesome painting. As well, I do have some Diamond Select toy items here on display, including that Slimer bank in the background and that No Ghost uh, bank in the background as well there. And man, there are so many Slimers in my collection. He's sticking his tongue out, he's looking angry, he glows in the dark. There's so many different Slimers that I have in this room here. Uh, we also have uh, the next row. It's kind of all miniatures, all, all small blind bags and such here. We've got uh, some of the Mattel ones released from the 2016 tip film up front. Behind those guys, of course, we have some of the, the Titan figures. Uh, there are just so many little things that have been released over the past couple years. And I really want to get kind of like plastic risers, so all these like smaller guys don't really get lost in the shuffle and it kind of fills this, uh, this shelf out a bit more. But uh, that's something I'm, I'm definitely planning to do down in the future. And once again, we have the Mattel Ecto-1 from the 2016 reboot in the back there. Now, this one here, it is very heavy on the Slimer, very heavy on the Stay Puft there. Up front there, we've got the Slimer and Stay Puft, which I think are bootlegs from China or Japan. Uh, to the left of those guys there, we have the, uh, the Ghostbuster nesting dolls, because, I mean, of course you need Ghostbusters nesting dolls in your collection. I also have the, uh, the NECA bobbleheads here, that of Slimer and the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man there. Uh, in behind there, we've got some of the Shakeums from Cryptozoic Entertainment. We have Slimer, we have Stay Puft, we have uh, Dr. Ray Stance in behind there, and uh, Peter Venkman, he's kind of out front, you can see him there. And the coolest thing about those guys is actually the Peter and Ray versions actually talk. What did they say? Well, here is Ray to give you a better idea. Good evening! As a duly designated representative of the city, county, and state of New York, I order you to cease any and all supernatural activity and return forthwith to your place of origin or to the nearest convenient parallel dimension. No, 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 thanks very much, Ray. Ah, uh, so cool. I also have uh, some candles here from Horror Decor. We got the Ecto Cooler candle, the Stay Puffed Marshmallows candle, and the Mood Slime candle, all of which smell amazing. Now, going over to the next cabinet here, you guys want memories, you want nostalgia, how about this right here, Kenner's Real Ghostbusters figure line. We've got tons of them here on display for you. Uh, up front, of course, we've got the original four guys. Uh, in behind there, we've got a bunch of the variants like the Fright Features and the Screaming Heroes and such like that. Uh, the only ones I'm missing so far are the Ecto Glows. 
Uh, if anybody has a unboxed set of Ecto Globes who'd like to donate to the channel, uh, you'd be my hero. We also have a jar there of Kenner Ectoplasm. Ectoplasm is still inside, as well as also, I believe this Slimer Topper was from a Slimer-themed bubble bath, I think. Uh, also back here, we've got some more Ghostbuster toys, and yes, they are totally sitting on an original box of Ghostbusters cereal. Look how awesome that thing looks. I wish they would bring it back. I know it wasn't the best cereal, but I, I, have, I have fond memories of it. Nostalgia, man. Uh, next row here is highlighting a bunch of the ghosts from the real Ghostbusters series. Uh, yes, I don't think anybody here, aside from Stay Puft and Slimer, ever really appeared on the cartoon show. But um, still, so many great memories of these growing up. And the cool thing too is actually these figures are the figures from my childhood. It's not like I just went out and bought these somewhere. These are the ones I was playing with when I was uh, just, just a wee little boy. Uh, love the fearsome flush there. We got in behind there, we got Frankenstein. We got the uh, the werewolf there as well. One of my all-time favorite real Ghostbuster figures is also behind there, who is Dracula. Uh, going down to the next shelf, we've got more real Ghostbuster goodness for you. Tons of the mini guys up front there. We've got some of the larger scaled figures in behind there. A lot of the ones that had like the uh, the slime feature, um, where you know you'd like drip slime in them or, or what have you, and it would, it would make the guys all oozy. Now in the very bottom row here. Uh, I know I'm going to get some eyebrows. Yes, I'm featuring Filmation's Ghostbusters, because as a kid, I dug the hell out of Filmation's Ghostbusters. We have the set there, all on display, including Primeval and his little cape. Uh, in behind there, we also have the Mattel retro-styled real Ghostbuster figures. The main four guys, the Comic-Con-based Peter Venkman, and we also have Janine and Sam Hain. Uh, I really wish they would release more Sam Hain figures. Now moving out of the cabinets there, let's take a look at some of the decorations on the wall. First and foremost, we got this awesome drawing of Dr. Peter Mankman. Uh, we've got the artist's uh, Instagram info up on the screen right now, so if you want to check her out. In below there, we've got the Ghost Core certificate to us, Ghostbusters News, uh, signed by director Ivan Reitman. And below there, we've got some mashup art pieces. This is, of course, Ghostbusters in Adventure Time. And below that, we've got the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man on a wrecking ball. I came in like a wrecking ball. Uh, both of these pieces done by Megan Eyre, who has done photo shoots in the past with us here at Ghostbusters News. Uh, to the right of there, you're going to see a poster print of Abby Yates, Melissa McCarthy. And yes, I do have poster prints of the main four girls up on my wall from the 2016 reboot. We've got Aaron there, we've got Holtzman, of course, Abby once again, and Patty on the right-hand side. Uh, also, we have got the Slimer, once again, from Spirit Halloween. Uh, if you want to buy one, buy, you know, click the link down below in the description. And below that, we've got a poster from the 2016 Ghostbusters video game. And in the same frame, in that little blue poster there, that is a poster of the Ecto-1 signed by Ivan Reitman. Uh, to the right here, we've got the poster done by Mondo, the limited edition Answer the Call poster. Love it. Such a great piece. And if you want to talk about amazing pieces and awesome collectibles, Diamond Select Toys Ghostbusters line currently going on right now is amazing. Right now they're doing the Build a Firehouse feature where every time you buy a figure, you get a firehouse piece. I can't wait to complete that firehouse and have it fully on display. But we already completed this, which was series 1 to 5 of the figure line, Gozer's Temple. You buy all the figures. Not only do you get all these awesome action figures, but you get this insane diorama piece. So cool, so awesome, so worth it. Now up above uh, Gozer's Temple there, we do have a couple of the Mattel prop items. The Mattel Ghost Trap, which is a slightly custom job on my part. Uh, got damaged, things happened, so I had to kind of replace the top piece to it a little bit. And uh, yeah, we also have the Mattel Ecto goggles there as well. Uh, on top of the Ghost Trap, I also do have the Diamond Select Toys Slimer. Now looking to the right, I do have some in-package Kinner action figures there, both of Mel Fraud there and Quasimodo. The condition on these guys is like perfect. I can't believe how well they've kept over the years. Uh, on top of that, we also have the uh, the NECA. Well, there they are there, the NECA Terror Dogs, the NECA Slimer, and the NECA Gozer the Gozerian. Uh, I know the Terror Dogs have shot up in price over the years, and I was smart enough at the time to never take these out of the package, but I'll never resell them. And speaking of in the package, we also have some of the Extreme Ghostbuster figures. I'm looking at buying more, adding more to the wall there. That's hence the space there. Now, the one item in my collection that I think is probably my prize, that I would cry if anything ever happened to it, uh, is this guy right here, the Proton Pack. This is something I always wanted as a kid, and I remember the day I got it, I stared at this thing for hours on end, 
I couldn't believe I had it. Uh, this was made by Colin at Multimedia Mayhem, and this is the one I use at conventions, I use at charity events and such like that. Um, and also one of my, my, my most memorable moments of dressing up as a Ghostbuster was when I had a chance to meet Dan Aykroyd at a Crystal Head Vodka signing and got him to sign the back of the Proton Pack. There it is, Dan Aykroyd, Ray signed. Uh, I, I love this thing. Now, looking to the right of there, we do have uh, some Spirit Halloween Proton Packs. Uh, two different ones on display. We've got a huge amount of plushies. We've got the original Kenner Stay Puft. Uh, we've got a massive like Stay Puft pillow plushie back there. Slimer, a bunch of the, the Mopies, all four main guys, Slimer and the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. And now we're kind of getting into the area you guys aren't most supposed to see, kind of the, uh, the, the more unorganized areas. We got some sealed uh, Mattel figures there. We got a bunch of the Hot Wheels. Uh, that's some framed art I've yet to put up on the wall there. I picked that up a couple years ago at Niagara Falls Comic Con. Uh, looking at the uh, the window area here, doesn't look too impressive, right? Turn the lights off. There we go. This is the Stay Puft light that we found here in uh, Canada at Walmart uh, last year for Halloween, and I love the way that that looks. Uh, taking a look to the right here, we've got the hanging Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Once again, this was released from Spirit Halloween. And down below here, we have got some of the Playmobil. Well, we have all the Playmobil figures released so far. And I was lucky enough to snag one of the Playmobil displays, and it became a part of my collection. Of course, here we've got the, the original series. We've got the Firehouse. We have the Ecto-1 on display. The Ghostbuster 2 figures, the real Ghostbuster figures. You put them all together, and you make one heck of a display. To the left there, we also have some more marketing from the real Ghostbusters figure line. Uh, once again, I, I, I love collecting stuff like that. Really completes the collection, in my opinion. And down below here on the first shelf, we've got a bunch of the board games. We have Ghostbusters Monopoly, also Cryptozoic Entertainment's Ghostbusters the Board Game 1 and 2, Ghostbusters Protect the Barrier, and a box of Krispy Kreme donuts. Well, I mean, it's just a box. It doesn't actually have donuts inside. Uh, also, I love these as a kid. These are like some of the old storybooks. This was based, obviously, off the first Ghostbusters film. Um, just really fond memories there. And my favorite figure ever released, Pizza Venkman from the Fun Edibles line. Yes, Bill Murray as a slice of pizza. We also have the Stay Puft Marshmallow Marshmallow and the, uh, the Jello Mold Slimer. To the right of there, we've got the Funko Fabrication Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. So cute. And the Slimer Yahtzee. In front of there, we also have the, uh, the Playmobil figures, the 6-inch. Well, actually, I think those were handled and done by Funko, I believe. And kind of a, a little personal thing here, this photo was one of the first memories I have of ever meeting anybody in real life in a Ghostbuster uniform. I think this moment tainted me and made me become a, a Ghostbusters addict. Now these rings here are amazing. These were done by a company called Bat Jeepster Rings several years ago. I got two made. This of the No Ghost logo with 1984 and 1989, the first two Ghostbuster films, uh, obviously on there. And this is the second ring of the Ghostbuster Cyclotron. I love these things. We did some promotions where we advertised for them there. We also got a ring made for Michael Gross, the creator of the Ghostbusters logo, who sadly passed away before we could get the ring to him. Um, but yeah, amazing rings there. Also, this card was done by Andrew Schaefer, once again, the guy who did the Ghost from Our Past. Love it. Custom little Slimer on there. And I've got a bunch of patches here. We've got, uh, well, we got like an Ireland Ghostbuster patch. We got the Spook Central patch there. We got Camp Blood, the Jason Voorhees patch. So awesome. Uh, now taking a look at the, the bottom shelf here, we've got some Mr. Potato Head Ghostbusters as well as also a Krispy Kreme Donut Pell because once again, why not? And uh, also we have our book and Ghostbuster comic book collection there all behind there. Tons of comic books, tons of books, tons of reading material in general. You can never get bored in this room, let me tell you. Uh, now going to the right of here, well actually let's take a quick look down below here. We got a couple like little knickknack items. We got a, a Ghostbusters containment wallet, money containment unit they call it. We also have a magnet there, just uh, a Ghostbusters magnet. We have right here a, uh, a beverage holder and a copy of Ghostbusters Uno because everybody needs a copy of Ghostbusters Uno. Uh, down here we got a 500 piece extra large movie poster of Ghostbusters 2. Up above that one of the biggest things I've ever freaked out about in my life, which was this, uh, let's clear some things off of here, this high C Ecto Cooler container. I was able to try out high C before it hit the market yet again, and oh my god, this is such a cool collector's piece for me personally. 
Up above that, we also have this Ghostbusters the Video Game Collector's item, uh, shaped like a ghost trap. There's a bunch of extra goodies on the inside. And we also have Ghostbusters trading cards, and Violet Ramis steals Ghostbusters Daughter's book. Now, for the next item here, um, if you've never checked out DinosaurDracula.com, I highly recommend it. Such a great taste of nostalgia, and Matt, the writer, creator, everything over there, does an amazing job. And he randomly sent me a piece of OG Ghostbusters cereal as a specimen. And this was so random, but I loved it so much, and I've been following Matt's stuff for years upon years. Such a cool dude. Once again, check out DinosaurDracula.com. Now, to the right of here, I got this printed, yes, from the Ghostbusters reboot, I got this custom printed, I framed it, uh, I got such a weird look when I went into Staples and got it printed, but, uh, you know, I, I needed it, I, I, I guess I needed it. Uh, more old food, because, come on now, uh, this is Ghostbuster Marshmallows released back in 2016, these things are hard as hell now. Man, so stiff. Um, also, aside from that, we also still have a mint inbox. Ghostbusters Twinkie Key Lime Slime Twinkies and I did a review of these and I ate way too many in that review man just just way 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 too many and obviously from there from the expiration date expired quite a while ago uh, we also have one of the uh, the Mattel Ghostbuster Reboot Proton Packs are on display this cute and cuddly plush Halloween Slimer on a pumpkin what else would you want in the month of October uh, that's another display piece for the Playmobil Ghostbuster figures and I also have these custom shin guards from Ghostbusters the reboot made. Uh, once again, really, really cool as well. And on the floor here, we've got a retro real Ghostbusters TV tray. I don't think I've used a TV tray since like the late 1980s. And as I was recording this video, this arrived today. The Ruby's Slimer Halloween Candy Bowl Holder. Love the look, love the detail. We're certainly gonna be talking about this thing in an upcoming Halloween countdown episode. Like legit guys, I was recording this video and he showed up at my front door. Uh, we're gonna be doing a full review on this Slimer uh, in the coming weeks here as part of our Ghostbusters Halloween countdown. So that does it for our look at the Ghostbusters recording room slash collection room look at. Um, also, I'd like to let everybody know that we do have a community now on YouTube. Yes, be sure to check out our channel here on YouTube click community, and talk to other great like-minded ghost heads like yourselves. And that's it, guys. We'll see you right back here next time as the Ghostbusters News Halloween Countdown rolls on. Who you gonna call? Oh,